So the first step in our edges exercise is we're going to create a new layer that identifies the edges that we see in this neighborhood. And those edges are going to be treated either as something we need to filter or buffer from the surrounding neighborhood or as something that can act as a seam that brings the uh, neighborhoods on either side of the edge together. But the first step is just to create a new layer. So I'm going to click on this Add New Shapefile Layer button. I'm going to take the default coordinate reference system, which is set to uh, how the project CRS that I identified. It, uh, we're going to create a, a line type vector layer. Uh, in this box, it's asking if I want to add new attributes, and I'm going to add an attribute called type, and that's where we will later identify whether it's a, a seam or a filter. Um, and uh, I want it to be text data. The attribute that it adds automatically is an attribute called ID. And so we'll go ahead and, and leave that in there. But you need to, after you've identified your new attribute, you need to hit this button, Add to Attributes List. And then select OK. You can add as many attributes as you want, by the way. I'm going to call this Edges. I already had one created, so this is going to be Edges 1. So now with that selected, we can go ahead and select the toggle editing tool and then we will get the ability to add our lines, um, move the lines once we've added them. Uh, you can um, mess around with the nodes that you've created. Um, I really want to have an aerial layer under here. I've added a Bing aerial layer with labels underneath my buildings and blocks. So now back to adding our new layer, our edges layer. I'm going to toggle on this editing tool right here. And I want to make sure that what I'm adding is very visible. So I'm going to double click on this line and change this to something bright, thick, so I can really see it. I'm just going to take one of the defaults here. These are just default styles that QGIS has added for you. You could change this and, and make your own colors, but I'm going to just add that. Take that default. Okay, so now when I go in here and add these lines, and all along this highway, it's obviously a good candidate for an edge. Let's go ahead and click in here. And on your last click, I'm doing shift control click and then it wants an ID and it you can also put in a type right here I'm going to leave that blank for now so there's the edge that it just created and you keep going and if you need to you can zoom in on some of these areas where you're not sure what's going on but it looks like there's some strong edge conditions over here around this um, kind of industrial area. You've got an industry and you've got neighborhood right here. So there's some edge conditions going on here. So I'm going to add that as my next edge. Oops. I'm going to back click. I need to click on here again. Click on my capture line tool and go ahead and add this edge in here. like it goes all the way around this industrial area. Call this line number two. Here's our second edge. So go ahead and identify throughout this neighborhood where you have these edge conditions. It could be along a main street. It could be around industrial buildings. It could be around highways and major transportation infrastructure. Um, it could even be around parks. Uh, anywhere where you feel from local knowledge that you've derived or from walking the area um, where you feel like there is an edge kind of 
boundary situation. Those are the areas that you want to identify for this exercise. I've added 14 different edges that I've identified for this neighborhood. You could add more, you could add less, uh, you could move uh, your nodes around as you uh, enter them by clicking on this node tool. You click on a node here and then it gives you the option of, of moving that around. We've done that before. When you're all set, uh, you keep clicking on your save button here so that you save your edits. And um, I'm going to go ahead and toggle this editing tool off because I'm all set.